helps us set the height too because if it's not straight up and down then we know we're too low in one area or something so well that's good about it's a relief about the eight foot length i was imagining it being stiffer or harder to work with for some reason it, yeah i think it would have been the other one would have been flexible too but i think this wood is definitely more flexible mm -hmm. you might just put like i said put another layer in there mm -hmm. um, because it's probably this is probably three millimeters mm -hmm. And not actually a quarter inch. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> I think it's all bird, so I'm not sure what the center ply is. It's, see how dark it is. Um, mm. That's birch as well. But definitely different than this stuff. I don't know what this softwood is in between. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the stuff that really pits, really has a lot of little well, pits in it. Mm -hmm. And it's more porous. And so this is more what I was hoping for. Okay. So um, I actually didn't go to the Home Depot. I went to uh, Boulder Lumber. So um, and uh, so actually when I got into the warehouse, to, I already paid for it and went out to pick it up. And I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> this is way nicer than Home Depot. It's a little bit thinner, too. It seems more it flexible. Is, yeah. So, we'll, yeah. So we'll get a little more flex out of it, make it easier to uh, put together uh, in our form. So... So this is your uh, rabbit joint idea? Right, so I think about four inches. This is, uh, one of them scrap or narrower, I'll make a spacer mm -hmm. so that we can take out. So just wrap it in cellophane, insert it. So we glue these two together, mm -hmm. these two together, and all of these, but then there's no glue right here. Yeah. And then we'll glue that when we combine the pieces of railing together. Right. So. It's getting serious. It's getting serious in here. Oh, the sun's already gone down. Sun's gone down. So that wasn't a dry run anymore. That was the real thing. What do, you, what do you think? It's good. I think we got to put more glue on. 
just it seemed it's so dry in the atmosphere that I think we just gotta really glop it on. Who cares if it drips off once you? Yeah. Yeah, just this really thick layer. Yeah. I'll, about? Uh, I'll just open up the top of the bottle and just pour it that way. Yeah. So I can I can get it on faster, mm -hmm. and then we can get it spread out faster and then boom. Well, we better explain about the glue because we said we were using the plastic resin, but it looked like you were using tight bond. Right. So, so that's supposed to have a slower drying time. And of course we didn't have our other stuff yet. It didn't come in. Right. And now we don't need to really fill any gaps because we're using the plywood. Whereas if we were using the, the trees, they would have been irregular and all that. So mm -hmm. I think we're, we're okay with this. But, um, and then the clamping process, the fitting, was that about the same as the I, draw, as the test run? I think it went better because we, had, you know, we got these on real fast, and then and we had these. Everything was ready to go. So plenty of clamps, as yeah. you can see, plenty of clamps. Yeah. So but, we had the yeah, we actually had these just kind of clamping the paper so that when we put it on there, we could just grab it and stick it on. But the bending, everything was right. there was nothing. It wasn't more challenging having a piece twice as long. No. No. Yeah. Because it, it's really flexible. Like I think this this is more flexible than the other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it'll be more challenging uh, when we do up here because we have to fit into the the joint up here. <laughs> barely barely moved at all. So it looks like the initial railing is all cured in shape, got its shape down. So we're at the stage of shaping it up. That's right. Got to do some planing. See if we can smooth it out real nice. Mm -hmm. Get some routing done on it. So you kind of blocked it out so you can kind of get in there with the planer and the tools right. in place. So not having to take it down and balancing it on a bunch of sawhorses outside. Right. So you can see how. It's still pretty flexible because so I've got it, you know, three and a half inches off the post. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't have any problems kind of expanding it to get on the outside of the post, I don't think. Yeah. So. so getting it all shaped up first and then the next step will be trying to fit it on the posts. Exactly. And deciding how to cut those posts. Right. So all right. let's get to it. Let's try and get some of the high spots off first. Whatever the joint is, is the... Here's a little high spot right here. Mm -hmm. Overall, were you pleased with the process, the gluing and the fitting? Yeah, I think the, the second one's going to be a, a little different. It'll be a little better. <laughs> I, we tried it to, always I, is. Tried to do too much at, at a time. I'm well, sorry. and part of that was a, a little bit of a gluing excitement and too many plies getting glued at the same yeah, time. Yeah, it's just so dry in our house that the glue dries so fast. Um, yeah. Even though we... We put, you know, the second go around, put a lot of glue on, but uh, it still mm -hmm. uh, dried really quickly. So it just makes it hard to slide the plies too much. So we'll do uh, less plies at a time. And because it dries so fast, we can do it in a shorter period of time, I think. You know, just mm -hmm. wait. Like last night we did, we waited an hour, mm -hmm. unclamped it, put the next couple of plies on, clamped it back up. So it should be good. Nice. All right, got the planer ready to go.
So the time consuming part, you went through and cut all of the tops of the posts. The tops and I notched them all. So you can't, here we can. Uh, I can kind of see the, the cut out there. Let's slide right out. So it'll butt up against that. Right, it'll s sit right on there and butt up against it. We'll have a screw going from here into the railing. Mm -hmm. the, and the reason why we couldn't go on the outside is because we didn't have enough flex in it the did, form. Yeah, it didn't. I think it would have, it would have, it would have broken the, the railing. Yeah, there just wasn't yeah. any. The glue job was so good, there was no flex in the form. Right, right. Yeah, so because it was, you know, on the inside and everything. Yeah. We could flex the ends. Yeah. But it doesn't necessarily yeah. transfer everywhere else. Yeah. So. So uh, the next step is we're going to hoist it up. We're going to hoist it up to about here so I can sand the bottom. Mm -hmm. and, the, and I need to do some sanding on the top. I missed the router on the top because I was working. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yep. It's, right. a, it's a rough. She was working underneath a cover because it was making such a huge mess. Yeah, my computer's right over there. So it was shooting. I had to make a tent yeah. and uh, post the. I was working on posting the video. I'm always yeah. posting videos, editing videos, posting videos. That's my right. my life. <laughs> I'm always working. Yeah. On content. <laughs> Work, working the content. You're doing the labor. I'm doing the production. Yeah. Exactly. So anyhow, um, that's the once over on on the routing, and then so the overall sanding is what's going to be the next step after we hoist right. it up. Right. Okay. So hopefully that won't take more than thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah. So I always say, hopefully it won't take thirty. Minutes. Yeah. How much? That took a while to cut off those posts. That was like a two-hour job. Yeah. That's uh, all by hand. Yeah, hand cutting with a draw saw. Time consuming. Getting all those curves, like you're cutting on a curve. I know. Give it a little tug. All your little block holes fell out. It's all clamped in now. Can you believe it? All the way up. Well, overall, I think it came out pretty nice. 
definitely better than I expected. There was a couple rough spots on the joints and we expected that. So I'm sanding down the, the wood filler. So this one section got had the most wood filler because of the uneven plies in the bending. And we're gonna be improving that on the second rail that goes to the loft. So I'm just sanding down the wood filler and then going to be adding some stain today to see how it looks. One thing about this end, Brian is going to cut some angle iron to, to sort of nest the end of this rail in. And that's how we're going to finish that piece off. The rest of the posts have all been screwed in from the outside. So definitely smooth with the sanding. And here's one of the joins. So you can, you can definitely like a little, little bit of a line there, but I think there's really no way of getting around that having a line, right? But the, just a little bit of wood putty to sort of um, smooth out the layers. And then on the top here, you can, there's just one little section that has a little bit more putty. One of the plies was a little bit lower, but otherwise a pretty smooth join because we did stagger the layers. So there's some up here and there's some down here. And then the other join came up a lot nicer, but, um, you know, there's definitely that line and on the top, this one has a lot more, this one has a lot more wood putty on the top. That, this was probably the roughest spot on the entire rail. And then the top is attached to this post and then eventually we will connect it to the upper railing here with another piece of wood and then drop down one more baluster in between. definitely pleased with how the railing turned out. With stain added, it definitely blends in with the rest of the staircase as a unique piece of art. And you know, there are some irregularities with some glue spots here and there and the wood filler, but that's fine. You know, it's not very noticeable and overall it doesn't take away from the entire aesthetic of the stairs. I think once we start to add other elements like the iron balusters and the angle iron end caps, that it's really going to pop as a unique piece of art for our home. And this initial experience, I think is just gonna help us more on the second railing going up to the loft. So now we know we some of the better techniques for the joinery of the sections, as well as having the better glue that is now in stock and we have to use to help with our gluing time. And then also doing less laminates at a time. That was definitely key. We will finish the stairs with some polyurethane on the railing and a little bit more light sanding. And we'll probably use some flat headed screws to make those pop on the attachment points as well. But overall, definitely exciting project and excited you guys could be a part of it. We'll keep you posted on the next one.